Hello everybody, it's Monday morning and it's two days after Liverpool's 4-0 win against Bournemouth. I'm Christian Walsh, I'm here with Connor Dunn. Connor, you were at the Vitality Stadium. What did you make of the game? Uh, to be honest, I think it's the best that Liverpool have looked all season. Um, the midfield of Shaqiri and Keita and Fabinho just looked absolutely fantastic. I think between the two of them, Shaqiri and Keita I'm talking about, it's just the spark we've been wanting to see all season and yeah, I loved watching it. Obviously, you can't really talk about this without mentioning Mo Salah, he was phenomenal like clearly the best he's played all season I couldn't actually fault him at any point and then teasing the Bournemouth defence like he did for that third goal was just absolutely sensational that's his third goal obviously not Liverpool's it's Liverpool's fourth but yeah it was well, Steve Cook almost pretty much teased Liverpool as well with that back heel finish didn't he you know he, 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 he I think he'll be having sleepless nights over what Mo Salah did to him yeah I mean what a finish by the way yeah. <laughs> but yeah no to be honest he was just beating all ends up by Mo Salah all over the place he had him in Scores Bournemouth fans across the whole back line so many problems, but Steve Cook particularly had a pretty poor game, but he was just nowhere near Salah. So bad, in fact, that he couldn't even foul him to bring him down for the second. That was, I think, summing up his afternoon. And the games are coming thick and fast here, Connor, and, you know, because of that, you, you don't realise that Liverpool have now played three games in the space of seven days, and, and it's pretty much, well, six days, actually, and it's nine points out of nine. The past two games, three at Burnley, four at Bournemouth, my question to you, I suppose, is is that Divock Origi goal a stoppage time? Was that the catalyst? Was that the, the spark that Liverpool's season needed in terms of these flowing performances going forward? I think that's a really interesting question. Obviously, it's given the club a massive boost. To be any team like that is sensational. To be Everton like that is clearly just... It was euphoric inside Anfield that night. Um, the mood around Liverpool, the mood around the camp is clearly going to be incredible after that. So, yeah, I, I guess it's got to have been a catalyst to some extent and now we move on to Napoli can they continue this momentum huge game Connor how do you see it going yeah it's obviously absolutely massive and, and Klopp's called on Anfield to you know produce one of those special European nights like you know they can I think Liverpool are going to win um, I think they're going to have enough I think they've got enough in their team enough firepower to to secure the result you know they only need a 1-0 I say only Napoli are a decent side and they'll come out fighting because they obviously want to score goals as well because that'll put Liverpool in trouble but, you know, I think, yeah, I see, I see Liverpool. I think they've got enough. Thanks very much, Connor. Let us know what you think about the Bournemouth game and the Napoli game. Leave your comments below here. Uh, we'll be back, hopefully, on Wednesday, dissecting a, a fantastic night at Anfield once more. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.